in what may be the beginning of a new trend in American manufacturing, Sunit Saxena recently moved his production operation from China to the United States. Just like everyone else, we started in China because the cost of labor was low. But then by the time we started and as we went further down this path, they started raising the rates on us in China. Saxena is the CEO of Altier Digital Retail in San Jose, California. The company makes digital price displays and signs for retail stores that can be updated from a computer. Altier now employs between 50 and 60 workers, fewer than it used to in China, and pays them about $10 an hour. Using new electronic testing stations, Saxena says the company has doubled productivity, making it cost competitive with China. The company is planning to increase automation, not to replace all workers, but to make labor an insignificant part of overall production costs. We can now increase our capacity and therefore we can get a lot more business or processing capability in small square footage with less number of people and make the people that we have way more uh, productive than we could in the Far East. Earthbound Farm, one of the largest U.S. producers of organic foods, is also using technology to increase productivity. It recently deployed automated robots to pack its products. Each robot does the job that four workers used to do. But company vice president Will Daniel says no one here has lost a job to technology. Instead of replacing those workers, we're actually providing them with a higher skill set. Those folks who are working on the line packing that product at where our robots are, for example, are now actually operating the machines. Up to now, automation technology has been used mostly on tasks that require identical and repetitive motion. But technology developers like Troy Strassheim are building robots with new capabilities. The kinds of problems that are well solved in industry today are ones that don't involve a whole lot of thinking on the part of the robot or a whole lot of seeing. Uh, therefore, we're working on eyes and brains for these robots. Using cameras and sensors, Strassheim is developing machines that can recognize and select specific shapes, creating robots that, in this case, could be used at loading docks and shipyards. These technological innovations are helping U.S. manufacturing expand for the first time in a decade. And industry officials say automation will lead to more high-skilled jobs and higher pay for workers over time as companies expand their operations in America. Brian Patton, VOA News, San Francisco.